Hello guys and welcome back. And also good morning. Uh, hi Alphonse. Um, so, in the last episode we started working on the smeltery. Look at her over there. It's so cool looking. Not really. It needs roofs. It's gotta get a roof going. Kinda wish the cobblestone stood out a bit more, but... It'll be more visible once we get the uh, path in, which I'm actually gonna... Let's, let's get the path in... Uh, planned out right now. Um, so we can have it connect right here. Actually, it might be cooler if we connect it right here. Yeah, let's let's drive through here. Um, I'll move this torch because I don't want that being in the way. Boop, and we'll just drive this through here. There we go. Now we have a nice little path, and it looks better. Okay. Alright, so that looks good. Um. Okay. There we go. Um. As I was talking about in the last episode, um. Competition between. Like, the exact same product, but, like, with a different name. Um. It's a, it's a very interesting thing to think about in general. Because it's a very psychological thing um, when you really think about it. Like, based on how you market um, your product, it'll get more attention, right? And so, um, if you if you market it properly, you'll get your little fan base, basically, like Apple fanboys who are like diehard Apple fans, you know. Um, whereas like Google fanboys where they're like hardcore Android fans or there's people who just want a phone so they can have something useful um which in a sense it's it's almost monopolizing when you think about it like you have this whole like cult of people huh what am I doing wrong you have this whole, like, cult of people, pretty much, um, that are like, wow, this product's so good, um, what the, what's, wait a minute, there it is, okay, you, like, you, you can get, like, this whole cult of people, um, like, just to back up your product, um, all because of the way you marketed it, which is, which is insane. Um, like, you can get people to believe anything if you know what you're doing, um, which is kind of scary, um, but like, people will believe what is relevant to them at the current time, but also is relevant to their desires and which case this would, um, you know, it would go with, um, needing a technological product. So, if a company is like, okay, we're gonna make this thing, and we're gonna make sure we have no competition by doing this. Um, let me make sure this works real okay, quick, just by, uh, throwing a thing in here. Yeah, that works, okay, that's, that's really compact. Um, but like... You can get people to believe that your product, out of everyone else's, is the absolute best, and that they have no competition because of the way you sell it. And if you if you create a sort of monopoly, you literally have no competition at that point. Like you've essentially bought out your competition, and because you have such a large fan base now, um, all going towards your product, people will, like, shit themselves if you use something else. It's like, uh, yes, I'm running an Android phone, and then another guy's like, oh, I'm, I'm running, uh, Blackberry from 2008, and he's like, you haven't gotten a iPhone yet, or something? It's like, 
no, I just need a phone. You know? Like, there, there's, there's people who don't care much about the products they use because it, they just need what they need. And if they have what they need, then that's fine. But um, if, if something better comes along, they'll either jump aboard what other people are doing um, and that's that's how trends trends uh, turn up, um, and I'm, I I I really like business stuff by the way, if you couldn't tell that's how that's how trends um, end up happening with um, technology, and so you get like all these people like wanting to be like trendy with like the latest the latest products, and so you know they you, they gotta have like whatever whatever you're marketing. Um, and people will just go crazy um, if if they get that. Like it, it's kind of like, mm, what can I relate this to? Kind of like how people. Oh, here we go. This more Apple. <laughs> more reasons why I don't like Apple um, with their monopolization. Um, basically. People, people will get the latest iPhone if it comes out, right? Because they want to have like the latest, newest thing, so they can stand out in their group of friends and say, "Yes, I have the latest iPhone six, seven, whatever number they're on." Um, and their friends will be like, "Oh wow, that looks so cool! I gotta have that." And then their friends will go out and get it. And then Apple will make an accessory for that, like the Apple Watch. Or, yeah, the Apple Watch. Um, App uh, Apple will create an accessory for it that goes hand in hand. And then that friend before will say, Oh, have you seen the, the Apple Watch yet? It's really cool and really convenient. And it, it makes life so much easier. Um... Okay, but you can't don't understand. Like, it, everything is so cool about it, and uh, you can do this and this, and they'll sit and show their friends um, everything about it. At that point, you pretty much have them wrapped around your finger, uh, industrialized, um, basically, or in an industry sense, and they may never ever switch products ever again just because of that. Which, it's it's almost scary. <laughs> like, it, it's really weird that you can you can manipulate people by having them get interested in your product because then everyone else that they interact with may also see that and then also want that same thing and they'll be like, "Oh, mom, I gotta have this for Christmas. It's the latest thing from Apple." and it's so cool and it does this and you should get one too and then you know next thing you know everyone's mom has a, a um an apple watch and an iphone 6 and then they'll have the iphone 6s and it's like an upgraded iphone 6 what a steal it can do all these things like the world is so controlled by how people communicate and it's it's weird but I don't know I've I've never understood why people would freak out I mean there's 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 gonna be someone who's gonna be like how could you not understand it's 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 so simple uh they make good products and then people want to buy them um because that that's it's not as simple as that like there's a lot that goes into business and especially there's a lot that goes into advertisement um, to drive to drive sales like that um, which you you really get psychological when you get into um, that kind of marketing scheme it, it's so crazy um, but I guess that's pretty much that really <laughs> um, like you you can get people to do anything 
if you market your product right, like they will they will want the latest product no matter what and they will have to have it. And you'll just get this like endless cha and that's that's why they make so much money is because they're also like an ind in independent development team um because they run their own company. Um you know, Apple makes all of their own products even though some of their products come from other companies that they don't talk about. But I won't get into that. That's uh <laughs> That's its own can of worms. Um, whoa, whoops. Don't want to get it in subtract mode. But, it, if it seems like you're doing the best, people will want the best. And people will continue to want the best up until you stop delivering them products that they think are suitable to their needs. Um, and through and through that 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 stays true uh in the business industry like forever and that's probably how it's always going to be up up until uh you know something else comes along and uh monopolizes the industries and it's like wow have you seen uh the uh, pair the the latest pair product i don't know I had to think something. But, I don't know. It, whatever. Whatever what works. You know, pe people make money and uh, that's how you make sales. If you want to run a, a successful business, you gotta, you gotta take risks in advertising and get your product out there in, uh, in a way that'll make it stand out but also drive sales in a psychological way. But, that's 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 enough talk on uh, crazy sales and uh, marketing schemes. Um. <laughs> hmm. I talked about that for a really long time. I just thought about that. Okay. One sec. I'm gonna think about what I want to do for the roof real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh. So I'm gonna make stairs. Um, and I'm also going to need slabs, so let's make a good bit of slabs. Start the time again. Um, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a lot more slabs, but this is good for currently. Um, okay, that's good. I just need a, uh, a layout. Man, did I really like this place up that much to the point where there's like no mobs at all around here? very it's very silent like what happened to all the mobs that used to go bump in the night and spook me on a daily basis um so what I want to do is I want to go up here and I want I want a nice flat looking roof for this building um cuz I want I want it to kind of like rest um rest above uh all this like right on top. So this is like the very, very like top of the building. Like it shouldn't go past this at all. Um, that way, like the lamps, like signify that this is the very top of the building and whatnot. So this is gonna be like a very flat building, um, very like short, but it's gonna look cool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's a very stubby looking building. Oh man. I like it though. It's very industrial feeling. Actually, let's. I want to get the slabs out of the way first, because I know it's it. It's going to be a lot easier if I just put it in the roof first. That way, I can get a, a general idea on how it's going to look. Oh, what's this all done? I also put down a little carpet right there. I uh, I got rid of the torches and put um put some hidden lighting in. I think it looks a lot better like that. Um, speaking of Windows 10, though, I was trying out a, uh, here we go again, uh, I was trying out a Windows tablet, um, when I was at Walmart yesterday, and man, Windows 10 on Windows tablets, ah, uh, I want a Windows tablet so bad now. Like, I've, I've always wanted, like, a tablet for myself, and, like, I have a, um, 
I have a little uh, Android tablet. It's a Galaxy uh, Tab 3. But, man, it would be so much easier for me to do like programming on the go and stuff if I had a, uh, a Windows tablet instead. Oh, that'd be so cool. Um... Okay, I still have more stone brick, but I need to... Hold on, can I craft this into a... No, that's right. forgot that does that. I should use this for something. I didn't think of that. Let's, um... Let's try something real quick. How does this look? Ugh. Ugh. It's too flat. It's it's too flat of a block and it looks very dirty. Yeah, let's let's not use this. Um I'm gonna grab some coal. Here's our first use for the smeltery. I'm gonna grab some coal, and then I'm gonna grab a couple stacks of cobblestone. Uh, we'll grab four. No, two. One, two. How much is this? Three and a half. That's good enough. I don't need any more than that. We'll grab this. And then, as I work on the roof and whatnot. Oh, uh, let's uncraft that. It takes eight for a stack. Boop, and boop. Boop, and boop. And, um, I'm gonna throw this in here and this in here. Um, I need six plus four, so I need ten more pieces. So we need a block of coal and one piece. There we go. Wait a minute. One, two. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thought I did my math wrong for a second there. I was about to scream. Okay. Um, back to slabs. Man. It takes so many slabs. Oh, jeez. No. Oh, thank God. I did not want to have to fall down there and then dig my way out. Okay. Shit. But yeah, Windows tablets are really cool. I'd love to have one. They're actually not too expensive either, which is pretty nice. Um, I've seen them on eBay and stuff like that for, uh... What's the, uh, the price? Uh, 90, $98? Like $100? Not too bad. Which... $98 is really cheap compared to some stuff. And, like, I, I just need, like, something to just, like, be sufficeful. Sufficeful? That's not a word. Uh, just something to, like, suffice is all I really need. Just something that'll, uh, that'll make it easy for me to program on the go. And I used up all my cobbles. And all my stone. So, wow, it looks really cool in here. Hmm. If it wasn't so dark in here, I'd probably just let these be the light. How does this look with just that being the light for the room? Looks exactly the same. Okay, never mind. It makes no difference. It doesn't look as cool as I was hoping. I was hoping it would give... I keep forgetting, you, there's no like colored lighting in this game aside from the, uh, the little bit of red light that you get from redstone torches. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna... Let this cook up a bit. Okay. Uh, so that's been cooking for a while. I just got done putting in the gravel pathway because it took me like 20 minutes because it, it's so frustrating. It really is. I really hate putting in pathway. It takes so long because I'm so indecisive and everything. Uh, putting in paths is like one of the most annoying things. Because I'm, like, never sure how I want to do stuff. It's like, mm, should I do it like this? Or should I do it like this? And I'll just sit and, like, move grass and gravel for half an hour. 
<laughs> it it's really frustrating. Like you wouldn't think something like that would be so 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 enticing. Not at, not at all. It's not enticing whatsoever. Okay. Um, and just to make it even bolder looking. I'm gonna make some. Don't have cowl. How many do I need? I need two, six, there we go. That should be enough. Put that back, and then put all this gravel back. Um... There we go. And then... Put that there. And then... Put this here. Put this. Um, I'm gonna put some torches up back here. <laughs> that's... That's probably a good idea. Because it is nighttime, and I don't want something to come up and spook me. So much, so much of this area is being domesticated, uh, in I guess you'd say. Um, there we go, and we have a nice little radius of safety, safety radius, bam, done. That's good enough. Uh, did I get to that side? What happened to the sky? Did the sky disappear? Guys, I'm scared. Where did the sky go? There it is. Now let's get a nice little screenshot. Bam. That looks cool. All right, sweet. We finally completed the uh, the furnace room, and it looks really nice. And we'll get a little screenshot on the inside. Yeah, I like it. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today's episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, sticking around for uh, that whole big business talk and whatnot. Um, but. Thank you guys for watching, uh, stick around for more episodes, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, um, just do what you do, uh, keep on keeping on, don't, don't be fooled by the industry, it's, they're lizard people, no I'm kidding, um, but thank you guys for watching, and um, we'll see you next time, peace out guys.